Hi everybody, it's Samantha. I'm gonna try to make this video in one take because I've just been really busy. There's a lot going on. Um, I have a bunch of updates, but I'm gonna try to spread them out because I think if I made all of the updates in this video, it would be too confusing and probably when you see the other videos, you'll understand why. But first, I'm going to start with the pathology results from my lymph node surgery because I know that that was um, something that people were wondering since I posted the surgery vlog. Um, what ended up happening, if you didn't watch that vlog, was I had about four lymph nodes removed. Um, originally they were thinking it was just one, but when, when they were in there they were like, oh, it looks like there's more tumor um, and so they took out like a bigger chunk and what it said was approximately four because I guess the way that the cancer was it was like even hard to tell how many lymph nodes it actually it actually was um, so they I think found uh, can't they obviously found cancer in the lymph node that was not surprising at all um, because I felt a big lump there so makes sense and uh, the receptor marker, markers showed that it was about 40% estrogen, estrogen receptor positive. And that is more than what they found last time they uh, took a lump out of my breast. So last time when they found stuff in the breast, they found that it was somewhere between like three and 10% estrogen receptor positive. And over here in the lymph node, they found it was 40%. Now they did run some extra tests and they found that in some areas it was 60% positive and in some areas it was completely negative. So it was not uniform throughout. It was different in different places of the tumor. Um, progesterone was negative and HER2 was negative. It might have been HER2 low, but we're not worrying about that right now. Um, so, because of these results, we decided to start a new treatment called Faslidex. Faslidex is an injection that you go to the cancer center and you get it injected into your butt. Um, two shots, one for each cheek. Super fun. I actually, when I got it, I started shaking. I have like, I don't know, whenever I get anesthesia or um, the numbing medication injected into me, sometimes I'll just start shaking. When I was in labor, I was shaking. So like when my body has new things happen to it, it sometimes just starts shaking. So I had to sit down for a bit and I was feeling a little lightheaded after the first one, but I think it might've just been because I was standing right over the counter where there were like the alcohol wipes and everything and I was smelling it. So I think that that was really the only reason because that smell makes me nauseous every time, which is funny because I think people say that to make you not throw up, then you should smell an alcohol wipe, but for some reason it like makes me want to barf. Anyway, that's not important. <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah, Faslidex is the treatment. And what it does is it's a hormone therapy and it kind of binds to the estrogen receptor. So it basically takes the place of estrogen going into, this is, this is what, how I understand it. Now just remember that I'm not a doctor, so please take that into account. Um, it takes the place of the estrogen so that um, the cancer can't use the estrogen to grow and it's instead like having something in its place. Um, that is like blocking the estrogen receptor. I think that that's how it is. Um, so it's a little bit different than the other treatment that I was on that was hormone therapy, which um, hormone therapy and targeted therapy. Um, I was on abemacyclib and anastrozole. And abemacyclib was like a targeted therapy. Um, I think I have another video about targeted therapy and anastrozole, which is 
um, another way to kind of ultimately reduce the estrogen in your body to reduce the amount of estrogen cancer gets. So um, we decided to add the Facidex, take away the abemacyclib, and continue the anastrozole. So uh, yeah, so that was the decision on that because of the results showing that it was still pretty hormone positive and we still wanted to like block estrogen and hope that that was going to be a good treatment. Um, the reason for stopping abemacyclib, because at one point we were thinking, oh, let's keep doing the abemacyclib with the Facilidex and stop the anastrozole. And then we switched it to stopping the abemacyclib and keeping the anastrozole. So the reason we stopped the abemacyclib was we just, uh, they just thought like it's probably not really working anymore because you keep having these spots pop up. And speaking of spots coming popping up, we found another spot in my breast that I found right after the surgery. And I showed it to my breast surgeon at the follow-up and I was like, hey, I just noticed this. And she was like, well, how long has that been there? And she was like, I can't believe that we were so focused on this lymph node and we kind of like missed this, but I really don't even know if it was there before the surgery. Um, so there, because of like more stuff coming up and whatever, they were like, I just don't know if the abemacyclib is really doing much anymore. Let's just try this new treatment for now. Um, and for the spot in the breast, the plan was to just watch it for a little while and see how that went. Um, so treatment plan, three shots monthly. So Facilidex, you get it a monthly shot every four weeks, but, um, the first one has like an extra one at two weeks. So, um, yeah, one Facilidex and then two weeks later, another Facilidex and then two weeks later, another Facilidex. And then after that, it's every four weeks. So treatment plan was now to do three shots monthly, which is a lot of shots um, because I was still getting Zolodex. Zolodex goes in the stomach, Facilidex goes in the butt, and Exgeva, which is like my bone strengthening stuff, which they said, let's continue on that because that seems to be working really well. That can go in your arm but I tend to choose to do it in my stomach too because it, I think it hurts less. So yeah, that was the update on that. And like I said, I've got more updates, but I think it would just get too confusing if I don't split it up. And I think that the videos would be too long. Um, so just look for another video from me soon we've got a lot of stuff coming up so this probably won't be for another couple weeks at least um, but just know that that we're still doing well um, we're just busy we're heading into the holiday season and you know got a toddler just trying to live life to the fullest every day and we've got some other things going on in our family so just know we're doing okay. Nothing really, really bad is happening. Um, but I will update you as soon as I can. And I'm really not trying to like keep information from you, but sometimes the information changes so quickly that it's easier to wait and make sure the information is all correct and staying the same than it is to like update you and then switch updates. But I guess that's kind of what I'm, uh, I don't know. So I just wanted to make this video to document based on the results of my pathology report. That is the treatment we decided to do. 
Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. And <laughs> thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry for not really having a lot of time to answer comments as much as I normally do. But I really do appreciate your comments and I read them and you guys are so nice and kind. And obviously, yes, I know that there are the trolls out there and there are the people that are being mean, but like, I don't really care. Um, so I hope that you guys don't encourage them either. <laughs> uh, especially the people that like literally say the exact same thing every single time. I'm just like, I literally have answered this question a million times. But the people that are nice and kind, I read your comments, I do. I just lately just have not had the time to respond as much as I normally do. But I do try to respond to questions. So if you have questions or if you want to talk about something in specific, leave a question or uh, reach out to me on Instagram in my private messages. Sometimes it's hard for me to find those two because they go into a folder of like, oh, you don't know this person, but eventually I get to those two. So anyway, this is probably too long now, but yeah, that's all.